today is the day you've all been waiting for. So Baby Doe's Army, we have pretty big news right now, and it's really big for the Baby Doe's community. We just now burned 1.9 quadrillion Baby Doe's. We're just going to hop right into it, hit the like button, and subscribe, all that good stuff. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. But let's go ahead and hop right into it. So big day that everyone's been waiting for has came. So as you can see, burn complete 1.9 quadrillion farm awards burned according to our snapshot vote so this is pretty big and here is the proof as they have it so you can see right here 1.9 quadrillion worth 2.4 million dollars was just now burned and that was from the rewards that everyone voted on so i don't want to hear any more complaining because a very large majority of people voted for this so this is um good for baby doge for uh one reason and that is it keeps baby doge from going below a certain point because as you know those 49 percent of coins as you can see right here it's now 49.6407 percent of coins that will never leave the baby doge community it will never be sold it will never be added back to liquidity it's burned forever so it, it will never be sold so it keeps baby doge from going below a certain point so that's pretty good and um as you can see here we have uh people congratulating it so shout out to people for congratulating it and not complaining but yeah um you're always gonna get some complainers but yeah we have it now so this is pretty cool that we have that so now we're almost at 50 percent of baby doge completely burned and that's significant for the baby doge army so i'm happy to see that people aren't really complaining as much in the comments well obviously there's gonna be some people but yeah it's pretty cool to see and um as you can see here now we have this right here that's 1.9 quadrillion and then we have this which is 113 trillion burned right after it which is pretty interesting because the wallet it came from i'm unsure uh, which wallet this is because it's uh, such a low point inside of baby doge but whatever wallet this is this is probably one of the dev wallets or probably one of the marketing wallets somewhere around there but they burned 113 trillion which is a lot of money so yeah shout out to them for burning so another thing that we also got to look at here for this is this wallet right here so this wallet right here is the one that actually did the 1.9 trillion burn and uh well 1.9 quadrillion burn and it seems like they were uh preparing for this for the last 11 days as you can see here they were uh sending coins from a bunch of different addresses to this address right here so this kind of uh shows us that we do have multiple dev wallets so it's it's definitely good for you to uh take in mind that there are multiple wallets that the, dev, the the developers own in marketing wallets, all that other good stuff. There's multiples of these wallets because as you can see here, it seems like they were preparing for this for a long time. And this specific wallet right here is 0.47% of all baby doge. And the only reason why I'm telling you is because it's, it's definitely good to know. Uh, some people will be like, why are the developers dumping, blah, blah, blah. Why are people dumping? Why are the whales dumping? Well, if you look over here, you can see it's 0.47% of the total supply of Baby Doge, um, which is $2.5 million right now inside of this wallet. So when you look at what they just now burned, they just now burned something similar to that. And this right here saying contract, whenever it says contract, that's pretty much telling you it's a contract wallet. It's a developer wallet. It's for the um, BB Doge developers. So it's just a good thing to know. Just like with this one up here. And yeah, it's just, it's just a good thing to know. Now, you can also see as they were preparing for this, starting at this wallet, they, these are where the money was pretty much, this is where the money was pretty much coming from. Money only really goes out of this wallet every now and then it comes in. Um, but this is probably also one of the wallets that they use. And yeah, so it's just good to know. Um, but anyways, moving on from that, Baby Doge do Brazil. So you can see here I got my Brazilian shirt on. So yeah, we got the Brazilian community for Baby Doge going crazy. So it says, do you know you can buy Baby Doge with Pix and Trust Wallet using Simplex? So yeah, 
Um, and then it says it inside of Portuguese. I'm not going to butcher the language. I'll try. It says, Para a nossa comunidade brasileira. So, yeah. Yeah, I guess it means to our Brazilian community members. And then you can see here it says the rest inside of Brazil or inside of Portuguese. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. Moving on to the next thing here. It says, our deflationary swap widget is coming this week. Add our deflationary swap to your project to accelerate burning of tokens on every swap. Users can swap your token directly on your site. You can add the widget now and the deflation will be soon. So now you can add widgets to your website. You can literally make a website, right? And put ads and advertisements on it. I don't know if you could put advertisements on the site with the widget. I don't know if it'll work because security purposes, maybe it will, maybe it won't. But you can literally do that. And then you can literally create your own um, swap website. And you can literally um, advertise it to people and then get paid off of those advertisements. And you can be helping Baby Doge be deflationary and helping the burn of Baby Doge. I don't know if you can actually put ad advertisements on a widget website with Baby Doge Swap, though, because they might have uh, put some security mechanisms in place to where you can't do that for security purposes. I don't know if you can do that, but that would be pretty cool that you're making money while also helping Baby Doge be deflationary. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah. Shout out to them for that, and anyone can help out. Anyone can literally make a website. Let's say you want to make a project, and you want to make a swap for your project, and you want your project to be on Baby Doll Swap. Well, you can put it on Baby Doll Swap. You can maybe put it on the public farms as well, and then you can go ahead and put the swap widget on your website and then have your project there. So it's pretty cool. Now, moving on from there, uh, we have this, the multi-chain. This they actually mentioned something about this, and I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, but I mean it's good that they're being transparent, but now they got people scared in the comments. But they're making they're assuring them that there's no hack or exploit, they're just being transparent. Pretty much what they said is the multi-chain offline um that has the baby doge bridge is down. There are 14 Gwaldrillion baby doge locked in Binance Smart Chain multi-chain. The bridge, there is a risk if multi change were ever exploded, exploited or hacked, it would be damaging to the project and users. They likely may never be exploited and the tokens sit stagnant forever. However, we believe in transparency and communicating the potential risk to the community to decide the best plan of action, if any. So, yes, there has been an um, the multi chain is pretty much down for that. So, they're just saying, look. There's a possibility that it could get hacked, but we're not saying that it's going to be hacked. We're just saying there's a possibility because it's down and it can pretty much lose money from there. But yeah, they're just being transparent there. So shout out to them for that. Now we're at rank 206, and that's because we just now you know, lost some liquidity due to that burn. So Shiba Swap has actually been increasing since then. I want to see us go back up. But if you have not taken your money out of here yet, you definitely want to. Because, look, these are the current core farms that are still here. So um, I guess they didn't have to t take these ones down, but they took most of the core farms down. So they'll probably be adding more soon. I don't know when, but they'll probably be doing some soon. So they took a lot of them down, but they left this one up. But it ends inside 33 days. And they have left this one up, but it ends in 16 hours um it looks like they left the ones with the most money in there so people have time to take it out and they left the watin swap ones which are also core swaps on here and they left the kyc but if you look over here at the finished you're gonna see there's a lot of finished farms here um what you are seeing here is the total liquidity has been completely taken out of this one so shout out to baby doze army for taking action there and uh, developers have already taken the rewards out of these this one's completely at zero. This one's completely at zero. But we can see this one right here still has $607,000 inside of it. You guys need to come here and get your money out immediately. This one has $222,000 in total liquidity. This one has $628,000. And then so on. We have $211 here in the ETH one. And this one here... USDC to Doge for Baby Doge Rewards has $47,000. So you guys need to definitely come here and get it. And some people still haven't claimed their Augie farms yet. <laughs> I've been talking about this forever. But yeah, definitely come claim this money. 
Um, if you don't want, want it, go ahead and send it to me. I'll take it. <laughs> but no, on a serious note, definitely come over here and take your money out. So that's pretty much what I got for you all today. And it, it does seem like the price in Baby Doge went up just a little bit today. As you can see, we had an increase in price. Went from 8Z1205 all the way up to 8Z1268. And now we are back down to 8Z1265. So this is um, pretty good for us. But as I said before, and as the Baby Doge developers have also said before, Burns do not make the price go up. They only keep prices stable. So what we are seeing right now, hitting the top of this bottom of momentum wave band, we immediately went up here to hit the top of the top momentum wave band. So we pretty much hit our supports and made our way up to our resistance, got rejected as we were supposed to. And then from there, we went back down here and we literally followed that to a T. So look at how we're literally curving upwards here on this trend line. So I think this is good because let's say we continue to go up. Well, this is going to slowly but surely rise up and it actually might have the possibility to get past 8Z1400 again. And we should have a nice uh, path upwards. So hopefully that happens here with Baby Doge. Um, obviously, though, if Bitcoin were to crash and continue to go down like it's been doing, then we would also see the price of Baby Doge going down. But we also seen the increase in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all these other cryptos in the last 24 hours. Uniswap obviously got 15%. Though. But yeah, we've seen the increase inside of cryptos within the last 24 hours. So we also seen the same with Baby Doge. So that's pretty good to see. Um, I don't know if we're going to actually have another huge drop coming in Bitcoin, but we're going to have to wait and see. But um, this definitely looks like the start of the bull market. But I would not be surprised if we have a pullback. But you know what this looks like? This literally looks like this area right here. So I'm going to go ahead and mark this. This looks like this area. So it looks like we've been like from 2018 December all the way up to 2019 June. What we see here is that we had this huge increase and then we were pulling back, and then we had another huge increase, and then we just start pulling back a lot. And kind of what we're seeing now inside of Bitcoin here is kind of similar. We have this huge increase, and we haven't really hit the huge pullback area that we just now seen. Like we have seen it go from 31k down to 25k, but we haven't seen a huge pullback. So there's always that possibility that we pull back even further in Bitcoin. So the reason why that's important for Baby Doge, obviously, because it could happen for Baby Doge as well. But we've already pulled back so much in Baby Doge. They've burned so much to the point where I don't believe we can go anywhere below 8 or I don't believe we can go anywhere below 9Z7 or 9Z8. One of those two, 9Z7 or 9Z8, just because how many burns and how strong the community is. So, yeah, there is that. But, yeah. Anyways, this is all I got for you all today. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I've been very, very, very busy. Um, let me know in the comments if you all would like to have a live stream soon. We can definitely set that up. But anyways, this is all I got for you all today. Definitely check out the link in the description for Chart Prime. If you want these amazing um, trading view indicators, you can go ahead and check those out. Link in the description. All that good stuff. And remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this financial advice. Hit the like button, subscribe, and as always, I'll be back with another video.